Who's done the better job, do you think, out of the two managers? So, Stevie Clark's been there, I think, 2019 is when he took over. Mm. Qualified now for the Euros next summer in Germany. And, of course, the competition before that. So, that's unprecedented mm. for Not bad, you know, a Scotland manager. 48 matches, 26 wins, 8 draws, 14 losses. Not bad, that. Well, not for a Scotland manager. No. And, and I'm, I'm, this, is, this is not being facetious. <laughs> of course. You know, it's, that, that's, it's difficult. And, that, and that's why it's hard players. to kind of say who's done the better job. Because you look at... And what Steve Clark's done for Scotland, I think, has been fantastic, phenomenal. But... When you look at then the pool that Gareth Southgate, the players that he's had to work with, Keynes is one of the best in, in world football, you have to say. Mm. Um, well, that's a fact. Jude Benham, now one of the, if not the best player on the planet, certainly in top bracket. You've got Declan Rice, good players. You've got Carl Walker, arguably the best right back in Premier League history. He's got players there that would, would walk into any other team pretty much on the planet. Yeah. So to then go that he's done a better job than Steve Clark is. It's a bit, little bit harsh, but you probably say he would done. But I like what Steve Clark's done because I just don't, I didn't expect it, and he's managed to get Scotland to two Euros in a row, and I think he's done a great job, a cracking job. Whereas as Gareth Southgate with the squad that he's got, mm-hmm. I would have expected them to win something by now. Okay, I want to, I want to go to the lines as quickly as possible. So oh three seven one seven double two double three to four. Who's done the better job? Is question number one. Just a quick answer from you. I'm gonna go Steve Clark. If one of them had to take over from Arteta, Steve Clark. You know Stevie Clark yeah. as well. Okay. Uh, which one would you prefer to manage your club? 0371722334. Who's done the better job? Is it Stevie Clark at Scotland or Gareth Southgate at England? But Jude, the QPR fan, is dialed. Hi, Jude. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, James. How are we doing? I'm good. I'm very well. How are you today? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Just on the way back home. So happy days. Happy days. Happy days. Are you going to watch the game tonight? Um, yes, I will be. Okay. So, think- to be honest, I'm not too sure what I'm going to watch anymore. Um, I'm like, I'm born and bred English, but I'm half Scottish. My blood, my mum was born in Scotland, and I've always annoyed my mum because I've always supported England. But I've just lost all faith in Southgate. He's useless. He's I, think, just, I think useless. I think useless. I think useless, I think useless is a bit harsh. I honestly don't. Southgate gets a lot of credit for bringing the England squad to give up, and then in I, well, the way I see it, that's just society. We're in a lot more social environment. I don't think Southgate has anything to do with it. I just think it's just the way the world is now with social media and stuff. Yeah, there's a, there's a point to that. There is a point to that. Andy? Like, yeah, no, so I'm just, I'm just, I thought you were going to elaborate a bit more. I just think it's a, it's a little bit harsh for football fans. To, I'm not Gareth Southgate's biggest fan. But, you know, his record, if you had a... if, if Your QPR, is it Gareth, Gareth Ainsworth at QPR? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I mean, if he, if he gets you to... You know the semi-finals and the final of a major competition. Yeah, I'm not comparing QPR to England, but what I'm saying is only one team can win the Euros, only one team can win the World Cup. And whilst I look at the England squad and think we should be winning it, there's there's giants standing in our way. I don't think Gareth Southgate's done a, an awful job. It's it just seems to be at that final hurdle for whatever reason. Being maybe he's picked the wrong team selection in the last 20 minutes and not made the right substitutions. His formation's slightly wrong. But he's slipping up at the, so just, the, the very last hurdle. I wouldn't say he's rubbish or useless. I think that's incredibly harsh, dude. I, I, well, no, nah, I don't. I honestly really don't. I think every decision, he's so flip-flop. He's such a hypocrite with regards to what he says and he actually does. You look at his loyalty at the moment to all of these players. Sterling is one of these players that he had this unsung loyalty for for yeah. ages. Like the World Cup, Sterling went away like obviously family issues wherever it was came back to the squad hadn't been there Rashford was when was, was in the form of the tournament like everyone said Rashford's form came after the World Cup I believe it came during the World but, Cup but Jude but Jude at the Euros the 2020 Euros of course played the, the following year Sterling wasn't getting much game time for Man City wasn't playing and Gareth Southgate picked him there was a lot of hoo-ha about it a lot of people saying he shouldn't even be he was player of the tournament arguably for England yeah so Fair enough, but my point now is Sterling is right now for Chelsea is one of the best wingers in the in the league, and he Rashford. I'm big Rashford's biggest fan, loves the kid, but he's used, been useless at the start of this season. Why are you in the squad and um, Sterling isn't? Mm, yeah, let's, no, not even, let's not even get Maguire and Phillips no, into the conversation. No, there are there are thanks for calling it. There are players in the squad that I don't think should be in the squad, mm. right? And there are players that aren't in the squad that without that should be yeah. James Will Prowse being one of them. Yeah, so it's, but I think that's what infuriates fans is about Southgate. And you talk about he has done well getting to a final, but semi final with Croatia obviously went out to France in the last tournament. It's just one of those where I think Croatia, we should have got past Croatia. The Italian one, when you go one up after so so quickly, yeah. put your foot down, go and get the second, go and get the third. But it was almost like, oh no, like panicked, what do we do? And I, I generally think we should have won that final. 
Going one up off the soap. I know, so but we were we were penalty kicks away from winning it. You know, yeah, he, yeah but it should have even gone that far. No, maybe not. Maybe, listen, I'm not Southgate's biggest fan. I've said it, but I, I will defend him when people phone up and say he's right. He's not. He's rubbish. not rubbish. Okay, but if Tenog, not, if Tenog left at the end of the season and Southgate then became no, available, I, no, without a shadow of a doubt, I won't want him in charge. So you don't think he's very good then? Uh, at club football, no. <laughs> right? No, no, no. I'm just being honest. But I think as an England manager, you know, only, right. only Sir Alf Ramsey's done better than him. I mean, that's quite unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, Only the fella that went all the way and won the World Cup has done better than Gareth Southgate. Okay, I understand that. But I, that, I, I was wondering, because you said he's not useless, but you've you got the chance to think him, because I'm not thinking about Arsenal, absolutely not. No. Who'd you, you'd take Stevie Clark over him as well? Out of the two, yeah. yeah. Okay. Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.